Looking for cheap and affordable MLB The Show 24 stubs? Check out U4GM and use code CAP for 5% off. Link in description. Yo, what's going on, guys? We have a we're gonna start making better video for you guys today. If we're getting to anyone, I say I appreciate uh, the support. You know, last couple of videos have not been doing well, but like I said, this game is kind of dead right now, so. I mean, season two did just drop, so let's see how the game's gonna start doing now. I do have some method, like I said, for you guys today. Uh, before we do get into, I do want to say I appreciate the support and that uh, I'm doing a giveaway when I do hit 12,000 subscribers. All you guys have to do is like, comment, subscribe. Basically, just be active on my channel. You guys should have a fair shot at winning this giveaway. It's gonna be for three fifty dollars gift cards: one for Xbox, one for PlayStation, and one for Steam. And like I said, all you guys gotta do to enter this giveaway is just like, comment, subscribe. Be basically, just be active on the channel, show your support. You guys, you know, will have a good sh uh, chance at winning. Now, uh, with that being said, if you guys want another one of these videos, I'm only going to ask for 20 likes. That should be super easy to hit. It's 20 likes only, uh, and we'll have another one of these videos out. Uh, with that being said, let's get straight into this uh, stub making method. So first things first, like I said, it's a new season. So uh, a lot of that flipping stuff that I was going over, it, it's obviously changed now. Like uh, Prices of cards are all different now. And, uh, you know, flipping is still definitely a part of it. Like, you could definitely find those cards out there that you guys can flip. Uh, so that's one thing I do want to say right now is that um, Like flipping has to be one of the best things to be like you could be doing right now in the game uh, Just because there's a, there's so many cards in the game right now And um, you know there's a lot of, there's a lot of prices that are trying to find themselves So flipping overall by just you know going to marketplace MLB players and just trying to find the gaps between these buy now and sell now prices um for example, you don't want to do a car like this because if you bought him for 20k, I mean, yeah, he's still going to be a good flip, honestly. This is not that bad, but the thing with him is he's dropping prices like crazy. He's went from 34,000, 32,000, 31,000, 29,000, 28,000. So, I mean, he's dropping prices uh, like way too quick. Uh, it's not a card I would really like to flip like that. You guys want to find a car that's consistent on their prices. Like, I don't I'm trying to find one but that's what I'm saying with a market like this right now it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit uh, interesting to be flipping cards right now so uh, just be cautious but like this looks like a decent car but at the same time not really because uh, when you look at the right side it's like the buy orders are going up it went from 11,000 all the way up to 14,000 so I mean he could be a decent one to flip because he does have a steady price at 20,000 he stayed at 20,000 but there's also not a lot of them up so be, be careful with cards like that and honestly, my favorite method to do is go to marketplace, go to MLB players, then go to filter, and put 76 overalls. And it's basically just doing that exchange method. Like that exchange method never dies. And even when you do get a trash pull, just hold on to it because most of these guys always get upgraded. Um, I don't know what the hell I just did. Uh, that was not what I was supposed to do. I was getting too ahead of myself. Uh, 76 right there. And you want to get these for, um, jeez. You put a thousand one hundred and for twenty five stubs. Uh, that's crazy. You guys want to try to get these for about, I would say like seventy four stubs or cheaper. That way, if you get them for like seventy four stubs or cheaper, you're paying around like six, like in, I don't know somewhere in the six hundred range. And the point of doing this is, you guys want to download the MLB Companion app on your phone, and sign in on your PlayStation or Xbox account. And once you guys do that on your phone on the MLB Companion app, you guys should be able to uh, access the marketplace on your phone. And you pretty much want to just put like hundreds of buy orders on these, you know, super cheap cards. You want to, like I said, try to get them for like 74 or under. I mean, the price is kind of all over the place right now. So the cheapest you honestly can get it, just try to get it for as cheap as possible. That's pretty much the best way to put it. I wouldn't really set a set price because it could be different on anything. Like I'm on PlayStation 5, you guys could be on Xbox or whatever. So it could be totally different. Um, but the whole point of all, of it, all of this is that you want to just get a ton and t uh, just like hundreds of these 76s or whatever silvers to then go on to bring it over to this exchange pack right here exchange players and then you exchange silver players for a gold player right here now it should only take eight 76s i don't think i have we could see if i could complete this pack I, I really doubt i can because i haven't been playing in like a minute so uh i haven't really been earning cards like that but if i could complete this pack uh don't judge this off of just this pack alone I'm telling you guys right now to do at least like at least 10 like if you're gonna do a, a small amount of these packs do at least 10 of them because if you're doing like any lower amount it could be very risky and I'm gonna explain exactly the reason why you guys want to be doing this 
in just a second after I open it. So we open it. All right, what do we get? We got a Pavetta. All right, that's profit because technically, like I said, if you guys are going to be, you know, um, building this set, it's going to cost you about... Um, 600 stubs so after that we're gonna get back about like you know 800 or whatever or even 900 and boom we just made 300 subs off that now the reason why you guys want to be doing multiple of these packs is because if you actually go here and check out the rarity and then go to live series most of these cards are actually i mean some of these cards actually have some really really good value here i mean we're talking about like you're paying 600 to make the pack and we have 2.5 like we have a ton of good cards right here to pull and honestly if you're building it for 600 like i said if you look at all these cards, there's barely any cards that are really below 600 subs. So at the very least, you're going to lose. I mean, at the very most, you're going to lose like 100 to 200 stubs. But at the very most of a profitable pull, you can make up to, um, you know, 1,900 stub profit. Pretty much 2,000 sub profit. That's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll have another video for you guys out either tomorrow or the day after. Uh depends on you know how much likes you get and all that but i do appreciate all the support for the ones who are watching and uh yeah appreciate it peace out